I would do backpacking, but I'd have to be with. I don't know. I'm too bougie, right? Yeah, I gotta have my curling iron. Exactly, and I need all these other things. I can't do it. I can't do backpacking. No. I'm too bougie. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Florette, and make sure to subscribe and like. I've got my friend here with me, Kels. What's up? All the way from the U.S. of A. Miami, to be precise. Oh, I want to get to Miami so bad. Come on. Seriously, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just go. So okay. today we are doing a collab video. We've done the first part on Kel's channel, so make sure you go over there and watch that first part. We're talking about different stereotypes of American men and British men. Yeah. So now I'm gonna talk about the stereotypes of American men, and then she's gonna tell me if it's true or not. Right. And these are questions that ask British girls. We always think, uh, no, this is true. American guys are like this, and we're gonna find out for real now if it's true or if it's not. Okay. Okay. So like one of the crazy stereotypes that we have is that American guys are just better looking. Like when you watch TV, it's like all the black American guys look so good, like the Morris Chestnuts and all of them, they just look so good and you're just like, American man, you guys are awesome. Is that true? Like most American men are like way better. Do you think they're better looking than British guys? Um they can put they could put on a little bit better. Like so I think American people try to be a little bit more fancy, especially the men. Um, especially like, especially the black guys, I gotta be honest. Like the American black guys, they really like try to put on and trim up and wear jewelry and things like that. And I think the British black guys are a little bit more casual. Okay. Yeah. But you know, especially like the haircuts, the hair, friggin' hair, it yeah. always gets tight, me. tight. You get your girl, listen, you gotta have the fade right. You got to have the fade right. <laughs> you guys know about those ones. So the next one is American guys are more freaky in the sheets. Oh god. Um <laughs> But I it's like when you hear stories, I just feel like American guys have like no limits. Like especially like Trey songs, the things that he sings about. I just feel like Trey songs would do anything to any woman. It's like you guys have like Lil Wayne, Trey Song. Yes. So we just all feel like American guys are freaky, like you guys would just go. I feel like British guys hold back a lot. A lot of things yeah. they'll be like, no, I just don't do that kind of stuff. And, you know, I don't do that. But Brit American guys are like, no, that's, that's like standard. Okay. Um, I think the entertainment industry kind of has things a little bit skewed. Yeah, they 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 talk a lot of game or yeah. whatever. Mm. Um, but I actually think that it's more like game and talk than anything else. Okay. I think probably the it's probably equal. Except, oh. I feel like British guys are a little bit more demure, maybe, and they don't talk so much, but like when you get behind closed doors, they're, they're turning up just like everybody <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> but the American guys, they talk up front, and right. then they'll talk up front, and then when you get behind closed doors, you they either were talking a good game, or they over-promise and under-deliver, so <laughs> it's like, which one's better? Do you talk, and then show out or do you shut up and then show out like in any event you gotta you better show out if you're talking all that <laughs> okay so i was saying this we were talking about this yesterday that i said that american guys we see we think that american guys are more forward like if you meet an american guy and he likes you he's gonna be like yo i like you and like you meet him on monday by like wednesday or his girlfriend by friday it's like whatever because we always have that stereotype that americans are just more forthcoming they just be like i like you we're together now that no no no, they like to date around. I don't, I don't, from my, let me, let me just preface this. From my experience, they like to date around mm -hmm. a lot of times because like the numbers are off where it's like way many more girls than guys. So the girls are like buying guys drinks sometimes and guys, they're posted up like they're girls sometimes. So that's been my experience with, with the, with the American guys. So I wouldn't say that they're necessarily forthcoming. They like to like date around and unless you're, you've made like a specific conversation like, oh yes, we are together, monogamous. They, they're probably dating like more than one chick. That's crazy, because you would think that American guys would like be the ones to buy drinks for the girl more. So, it depends, it depends, it depends. But a lot of times they start acting stingy like, oh, I don't need to buy drinks because there's just so many more girls. Excuse me, I don't like stingy men. <laughs> video about cheap men I'm like don't try it don't try it like nobody's hungry who's hungry or thirsty around here really <laughs> like you're holding on to your coins that tight seriously you don't even deserve a girl you need to be alone stingy men need to be alone it I mean no we need a t-shirt stingy yeah. men need to be alone let's, yes. just, let's just start that movement let's that let's do that hashtag no okay. stingy men 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a bit of a negative, okay. but it's also from what we see, what we perceive over here, is okay. that, like, of American guys, especially black guys, is that they have baby mamas. It's like, in the UK, it's, obviously that happens, but it's not, I feel like it's not as common okay. as it is in America that a lot of black guys tend to have children out of wedlock and they tend to, sometimes it's like they have three kids with three different women. Okay. Is, do you think it's that more, that's it's almost the same over here or it's more prevalent over there? Um, as far I've never met a guy with a kid out of wedlock here. So, but that's very that's that's limited. Um, mm. Guys, it dep okay. It depends on your education level. Hmm. It depends okay. on your education level. Okay. Um, so, um, as far as when the less education you have, kind of for American guys, the more baby mamas you usually have. Oh, wow. Um, the more education, more college degrees or whatever, even if it's not college, but you know, maybe a trade school or something where your career is on point, where you're like making money and you realize how expensive random children are. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so, so I don't really experience that a lot with American guys because I just kind of date guys that are more, have a similar background to me, which is like, you know, relatively educated right. um so you don't really see that but you can see where that stereotype would come from because there's you know different types of people and america is huge america is really big so you have like a big population of people that don't have as much education and might have um a little bit more freedom with spreading their seed everywhere okay <laughs> Spreading that seed now. I don't want to push any weird stereotypes, <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's 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 been my experience. So okay. Do you know one thing is that I've realized is that as well, we have this perception of African American men mostly that a lot of them don't go to school. Like you just don't seem to see educated black men from America who go to school. It's like I was having this conversation with another American person and I was like, I don't understand what that is because we look at you guys like, why don't you guys ever like to go to school? It's like, everybody wants to be a rapper, a promoter or whatever. And it's like, how about being a lawyer, a doctor and things like that? It's like, you don't see many sort of black guys go in that American. Maybe it's not presented well. It's okay. It's mainly, I think it's because of what you see. The entertainment is like America's biggest export. So everything that other countries see about us are through the the lens of uh, entertainer. So mm -hmm. you're going to see the rappers, you're going to see the ballers, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see all those kind of guys and you're going to assume so that, oh, okay, most Americans, they rather do the hustle, hustle route <laughs> or whatever. I'm not going to lie. Everybody got a side hustle. Okay. Everybody in America has a side hustle. Men, okay. women, everybody's like doing something on the side outside of what they do for their nine to five. Okay. So typically, the, you, for your nine to five, you have your some sort of degree or some sort of trade school or some sort of higher education, and you're doing that. But what's promoted on social media? What's promoted mm -hmm. is your 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 mixtape. Yeah, <laughs> you know your mixtape, your uh, your t-shirt line, uh, your sneaker, your sneaker, your sneaker designs or whatever. Yeah. So. Um, so you know, I think the perception is like, okay, what is shown ex, you know, outwardly yeah. is different than actually what uh, the folks do. But yeah, for the most part, education is a huge thing, and um, but people just don't put that at the very forefront of everything. Okay. Their side hustle is usually what they put at the forefront, and they're on Instagram and and, and Snapchat talking about their side hustle and their their uh, their shooting today or whatever. So. <laughs> See, that, that is something that I always had a problem with, like, if you date an American guy, chances are, okay, he might be, like, really good looking, but he's not going to be that educated, and he might have, like, two big mamas. And it's almost like, that is what you just automatically think, that's what I always think, like, you're just going to have to deal with that. That might be true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it depends on what you tolerate, which is mm. one of the reasons why, like, dating in America is weird, because a lot of the women are very educat educated and make a lot of money, and then... You know, there some will go for the guys that only deal with side hustle, but most want a guy that you know can match their income at least. I mean, right. is that too much to ask for? Mm. But which I heard, understand is a stereotype about American yes. women. American women seem to be more demanding when it comes to like a man earning a certain amount, whereas like British people, I think we're just more sort of forgiven. Like if you earn more than the guy, it doesn't really matter that much. At least he's earning something. But whereas like if a woman it says she's earning like forty thousand, she wouldn't want to be with a man who's only earning twenty five. She wanna be with a man who earns forty or forty above. But I feel like in the UK a woman could be earning like fifty thousand and her husband could be earning like twenty five and it's like it's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> 
so fun for you. I mean, for me, it wouldn't be fun. I'm sorry. I would like, because I expect you to pay for everything. So you, therefore, you need to earn more. I mean, money. you don't have to pay for every single thing. But, I mean, I busted my ass, you know, <laughs> getting to where I am. So, I, what, you know, it would be nice to be with somebody who can match that hustle, match that grind. American, the American dream is, 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 is hustle, grinding. And right now, I saw a video the other day talking about the new American dream is being out of debt. So, I mean, if you can't help us get out of debt, what, what, I'm, what I'm doing with you, though? Like, See, there's no such thing as a British dream, you know? There's no, like, oh, there's a British... There's no such... No one says that. There's no such thing. Really? I think British people are just, like, people of leisure. I feel like we're very calm. Americans, you guys are, like, no. like hardcore. I feel like we're just, like... Yeah. You just go with the flow. We're ex it's exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting, but... Yeah. Okay. So, if I ever date an American guy, he needs to earn loads of money. I mean... <laughs> In the ideal world, he might not though. He might have two, three baby mamas. If you're well, into that, well, well, at least Keith is cool with it. So, <laughs> oh, I mean, Swiss Beats has like three baby mamas, and she's fine. And so. he's a rapper, and he's a producer, and all this stuff, painter, all this, and he designs sneakers. He got sneakers, all that. Does he, did he even go to anybody's school? Probably not. Probably not. And there you go. <laughs> And she snatched him from Lashonda. She snatched him. She said, that's mine. I'm going to do the same thing. That's what these American girls be over there doing. Snatching dudes out of other females' hands. Because the numbers are just horrendous. <laughs> and what American guys apparently aren't that tall, which is bizarre to me. Because everyone in America seems like they're like giants. I mean, my experience with Latinos is that they are a little bit shorter. Not all, um, not all Americans are short. Not all are super tall. We're not all basketball players. Um, but as far as I know, when I come over here to London, we're filming in London, by the way, today. Um, when I come over here to London, everyone's much taller than me, which is weird, because <laughs> I'm usually one of the tallerish ones, but here I'm definitely short. She considers herself tall, and I'm like, you're like the same height as me. <laughs> She's two inches shorter than me. I'm 5'5", five, five, and when I put on heels, I'm about like 5'7", 5'8", 5'8", 9". So then you're like looking at everybody eye to eye. I'm like, oh. In, my, in, in the US, but here I'm always the shortest, so that's, that's crazy. fun. 5'5 five, five is taller than America. What with heels, heels, with heels, with heels. Wow. Because in Miami we wear heels everywhere, because we drive everywhere, so you can wear heels. Well, I've learned some things about Americans now. Yes. If I go over there in America, I know how to handle the American guys. You're gonna pick up some American guys. <laughs> yeah. A nice short one as well, yeah, oh. same height as me. Oh God. <laughs> But make sure you check out Kel's channel. She's got some really cool videos on there. Dating in London, dating in DC, everything. Travel vlogs. Travel vlogs. She's got some really cool travel vlogs as well. So make sure you subscribe to her channel. And you're almost at a thousand. It's cool. I am trying to get to a thousand subbies. So if you could help me out with that, that would be yes. a good look. Let's get to a thousand subbies yes! for Kel's before the end of March. Oh, March is my birthday month. Oh, March is our birthday month. Oh, oh yeah, it's like two weeks away. Yes. That's crazy. So, yes. Could you get our subbies up for our birthdays? That'd be nice. Uh, make sure to click the subscribe button here and also to like the video. Yes. Uh, until next time. So, see you guys later. Bye. Don't look at this one. Don't, don't watch the thumb. Don't watch the thumb. <laughs> it's so crusty. <laughs>